Welcome. R slash pro revenge. Neighbors terrorized my grandfather for years and pointed a gun at my grandma over a property dispute, so my grandpa got revenge. This story has been told throughout my family for years, and I was told by a friend to post here. It's the story of how my grandfather, GP, bested his nightmare neighbors. Back in the 80s, GP would buy houses in downtown and fix them and wrestle. He made good money running his own business in drywall slash stucco and this was just a side gig until he found a house he loved and would keep. He found a property out in the country, about an hour from the city, that wasn't developed at all but up for sale. He offered up the house he had in the city as a trade for the largest lot. Owner of the lot agreed, and GP had 2.5 acres of riverfront property. To build a little perspective, this is in the PNW. There's trees and underbrush everywhere, and it's thick. This being on the river, all the ground was sand and there was a slope from the driveway and house area to the riverbank. GP spent tens of thousands USD tearing out trees and brush, and trucking in dirt and gravel. Once the clearing was made at the top of the property, he decided not to build his own house, as there was a triple wide for sale only a few hours away, and he needed a home pronto. He bought the mobile home put it where he wanted it on the property, and began renovations. His wife, GM, moved in at this time, and started helping, weed out the yards to begin planting grass. Around this time, is when neighbors started buying properties around them, and building very nice homes. I'm talking they're all like 5 bed 4 bath homes on the river. And they were upset, that GP had put a mobile home on his lot as it could affect the value of their homes, if they were to sell. Keep in mind, there are no fences, but stakes that were separating the lots until owners put fences up if they wanted. GP saw no need as the neighbors, N, had kids around the same age as his kids and they played together in the yard. That was until there was confusion on the neighbors part on where the property lines were. They had torn out the stakes, and were trying to claim parts of the yard as their own. When GM would go out to weed, they would yell at her to get off their property. It escalated to N waving a gun at GM threatening her with trespassing on their property. GM insisted on a fence at this point, so GP hired a surveyor to come out and stake the line and had fence builders right behind him. The fence was erected in record time. He built it about 2 feet inside his property line. Keep this in mind. N. Was. Bust. They planted hedges along the fences it was back quote ugly, this is important later. The end's kids got older and more mischievous. The girl would use a slingshot and try to shoot rocks at GM and the house. The son would hit golf balls over the fence at GM and tried to hit and break a few windows. N would cut the tops off the hedges so they could still get balls and rocks over them easily. Then the infamous spotlight. GP had family over for a summer holiday for a BBQ. The yard was complete with all sorts of maple trees and flowers. It's gorgeous. N was still upset, and to try to ruin the night for GP and all, they got a big spotlight and set it up, to shine right at the house. It was blinding. Someone told GP he should put up a big mirror. Now, he didn't have a mirror, but he did have one of those reflective blankets, that looked like tinfoil. So he got two 2x4s, nailed them to the fence, and nailed the blanket right in front of the spotlight, reflecting the light back. They got mad turned it off, and GP left the 2x4s on the fence as a reminder to them, if they ever tried it again he had a way, to ruin it for them. Now about 9 years after the fence was built it started to rot, it rains a lot. GP had a brilliant idea, I'm not sure how the law is actually stated, but it's around the lines of if you erect a fence inside your property line and the other side uses their side of the fence, to grow things and such, after 10 years it becomes this. Pretty much a forfeit of 2 feet in GP case, if he left it for 10 years. Well, after 9 years, he began tearing down the fence, to build a new one. But seeing as the hedges were now big and full, he couldn't tear them up, so he built a new fence on the other side of them, bringing them on his side of the fence and still staying within the property line by mere inches. This butt upright to about 4 feet from the side of N's house. This was the last straw for N and they took GP to court. GP was smart, and took photos of everything. The rocks from the slingshot, and the spotlight. In person he brought a basket of golf balls, each one dated on the day he was graced to find them on the lawn or porch from the sun. 
and the surveyor that mapped out where the line was between the two homes came in with GP. To top it off, GP had law after law printed by his lawyer, and tried to say he stole their hedges, but GP told the judge they planted them on his property etc. He told them that the 10 year rule didn't apply, as he only had that fence up for 9 years, and showed receipts from the builders. And hard to get him in trouble for the mobile home too, but that was scrapped right away as they had no rights to what he put on his property. In the end, N had no ground to stand on as GP had years of records of the terror that N family caused him. The case was thrown out. As they walked through the parking lot, GP looked at N and said thanks for the hedges. They are beautiful to look at and gave them back all the golf balls and requested son find a new place to practice his terrible shot, as he missed every time. Today, GP and GM have a beautiful house with a view of the river, and a yard, that was featured in the Home and Gardens magazine. N sold their house about 8 years ago, and the new owners are a sweet young couple who are just happy to be in a quiet neighborhood. The basket that used to be home to Terra golf balls now holds dog toys. And those hedges? They got so big you can't even see N house anymore, and they create a much nicer view from the front porch. No spotlight, golf ball, or ock is getting over those things ever again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe.